My name is Jamin Gurker. I'm an associate real estate broker in the state of Alaska, and my mission is to help you to build an intentional and significant legacy for yourself and your family by coaching in real estate. And today we're going to be talking about the most fun day trips you can do around Anchorage, Alaska. Now, when I say day trips, these are primarily trips where you can like travel outside the city, do the activity, and then come back. You can obviously spend more time there, but you can do it in a day. And also we're going to be including things that you can do inside the boundaries of the municipality of Anchorage as well because it's a very large and very diverse area. Before we get started though, do make sure you give this video a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And without further ado, let's go and jump into today's video. Right out of the gate, I'm going to say one of the funnest things you can do is actually go and um, do some river rafting on the Matsu River. Now, this is going to be uh, kind of the whitewater river rafting and you're going to need to get a guide so you know go with somebody preferably unless you have a lot of experience this is a lot of fun it can also be kind of cold so make sure you actually you know gear up and you've got all the appropriate stuff because uh, the matsu river is actually run off from a glacier and it's going to be cold and it's going to be murky so do make sure that you're actually geared up appropriately salmon fishing on the kenai peninsula is going to be one of the fun things you can do while living in anchorage or the matsu valley as well and still be able to get to and from the destination in a day. And when I go salmon fishing, usually it's gonna be on the Kenai River itself. So either I'm gonna be dip netting, or two, I'm gonna go down to Seward and I'm gonna do some snagging for salmon. Either one, you can get there, do some fishing, and then get back all in the same day. Another really fun thing you can do, and this one's a little bit closer, is you can actually go and just hike Matanuska Peak or Matt Peak or Lazy Mountain. Both of those are in the Matsu Valley. You can usually get there within about you know 45 minutes to an hour, depending on where you are coming in from Anchorage, and it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. And it's gonna be a pretty challenging hike too. So yeah, I'm gonna keep the, the hiking list um, as, as short as possible, just because, I mean, there's a good hike around every corner in Alaska. But, I mean, those are the, the two of the big ones I would have in um, any big hiking list for the area. Another really fun thing to do, and this one's actually in Anchorage itself, and that's to get some paddle boards, kayaks, canoes, and go out to Iglutna Lake. Now, if you've watched my videos before, you know my opinion that Iglutna Lake, I swear, is cursed. And every time I go out there, like it, it feels like it's a close thing. Like something happens and somebody, somebody almost gets hurt or, you know, something almost fatal happens. So make sure you go with somebody, make sure you're being safe and all that. It's a deep lake. It's cold because it's, it's glacier runoff and you do get some winds that can go through there every now and then. And the waves can get pretty tall once you start getting to the middle of the lake. And it's like a solid six and a half mile like long lake too, so it is pretty sizable. So go out there, have fun, be safe though. Now Hatcher's Pass is an area that you've heard me talk about before and it's really great if you're looking to hike, if you're looking to just get out of town a little bit and just kind of vibe. Um, it's about, I'd say about an hour, hour 15 minutes away from Anchorage to the north and it's in the Matsu Valley and you can drive up most of it and you can get to some pretty good hiking spots and go further up there. You can go find Bomber Glacier, which that's a glacier where a, a B-29 uh, sadly crashed on it decades and decades and decades ago. And the, the wreckage is still up there on the glacier itself. So you can go hike that. Um, you can go pick blueberries and a bunch of other you know berries that are up there as well. Or you can go up there and just kind of vibe and enjoy. Palmer, that general area, also has a number of great restaurants and and uh, breweries and other things like that as well. So if you're looking to just kind of vibe, the Matsu Valley and specifically Hatcher's Pass might be a great option for you. Now for me personally, I really enjoy this one and this is more designed for you to, to uh, kind of be able to do this stuff directly within Anchorage, but you can actually do quite a bit of paddle boarding or, or kayaking and stuff like that on the number of rivers that we do have. Specifically, I enjoy going to Eagle River itself. It's, you know, pretty fun. You have to port, well, I don't think port is the right word. You have to go down this, this really narrow stream uh, the way that we went and it, it's pretty shallow. So for about the first mile, mile and a half or so, it's a little sketchy just because it's so shallow. But then after that, you get to Eagle River itself, the main river, and it's, you just kind of float and vibe. 
So that's a whole lot of fun, would recommend it. This next one I'm actually getting into myself in the near future here, and that is paragliding. Now the nice thing about paragliding, you can do it from just about anywhere, you know, local laws and all the compliance, you know, obviously coming first, but you can do it from just about anywhere. Some of the more popular destinations for paragliding in this area is either going to be, I believe it's Marmot Lake over in Hatcher's Pass, or two, it's going to be off of Mount Baldy, or, you know, three, the Butte as well, which that's in Palmer. Baldy is in Anchorage, which, you know, that's in Eagle River, which is in Anchorage, I should say. So yes, paragliding is a lot of fun. And um, yeah, be looking for more content uh, geared on that in the near future. All right, I'm going to throw this one in here just because I know everyone's going to give me trouble if I don't. But obviously, there's a ton of great camping locations you can go to, whether that's you know, within Anchorage itself or you're wanting to do some kind of a day trip to any number of countless opportunities that are just outside of Anchorage. So yeah, take your pick. There's gonna be some great camping out there for you. If you're looking for an opportunity to just kind of see some glaciers, maybe get a chance to walk on some of them, then you definitely don't wanna miss out on Portage Glacier or you know, go check out the Matsu Glacier as well. Both of these are really within, definitely within like a day's ride of each other. So I wouldn't worry too much about those being too far. So yes, go check out Portage Glacier or go check out the Matsu Glacier as well. Last but not least, if you haven't done this at any time in your life, you definitely need to, and that is to go horseback riding. Now the places, uh, or the place I've gone has been a ranch over in Sutton. And I can't remember the name of the place specifically, but there's definitely some ranches out there where you can go to, to Sutton and that's approximately about an hour and a half, maybe a couple hours north of Anchorage. And it kind of has this, uh, this really rustic, almost like a Montana feel to it while you're kind of just out there in the rugged nature with all the, the horses and everything. So if you're into horseback riding and more of a rural kind of a location, that's going to be a great option for you. I know there are countless other options that are out there. There's a lot of stuff that you can do. I'm barely scratching the surface here. These are just kind of the, the options that kind of popped into my mind initially when I was thinking about the, the top fun things to do in Anchorage. If you have any suggestions, do make sure you go post those in the comments section down below. But other than that, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.